Wake up show, ladies and gentlemen. We doing the 100K battle, man. We breaking it down. We we reaching the final stages. We down to the top 20 yes, right sir. now. Um, we've been doing it for a few months. It's been a lot of talk around the country. A couple casts from around the globe have entered the contest. Chance to be on the wake up show. Chance to get five thousand dollars in your pocket. Chance to hold the crown, the first one of its kind. We got a lot more coming. One of the top shotters in the game right now, one of the illest MCs that's out right now, uh, one of the most underexposed but uh, ever so revered. We got a wake up show favorite here and wake up show icon tech. Can I make this introduction even more better than this? No, man, I said you're doing a great job. Okay, man. give it up for Crooked Eye. Yeah, yeah. What's the business? What man, the business is, man? man. I, want, I wanted to do something different this time because okay, I say over the years, man, it's it's a good it's a good chance that you might have kicked the most lyrics ever cumulatively on the wake up show, right? Like I don't know if, any, <laughs> if anybody kicked more than you. So this time, what I want to do, okay, and you know this, same, this is really against my nature. All right, I just want to talk to you. Wow. You gonna give me that kind of pass? I'm gonna oh, give you that pass. Man. You know, but, but, but you know, you done put in some work on the wake up show. If you could just come and talk, if you, you could come and talk, I might, might have been two other people in the history of the wake up show that we let just talk. Wow! But, it, but it's a reason why because it's a lot of MCs here today. Right. I see Bay Boy over there. It's a bunch of people. My man KP over here. Exactly. Uh, we got uh, a conflict behind me. It's just if you look around. For sure. It's a lot of MCs here, and I think a lot of MCs yeah. uh, use you as inspiration. Does anybody got any questions for him, man? Anybody, anybody in the room? Just the lyricists. Come on. You got a question? Yes, sir. So. How you doing, man? How you doing, pleasure sir? Pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure. It's all mine, homie. Uh, I got a two-part question. My first question is, is that if you are, and in, in speaking to myself and to the other inspiring MCs, right? Uh, if you want to step your bars up, uh huh. You know what I'm saying? What type of things would you suggest to do? I know reading and some different things. Yeah, but. man, that's one thing, though, man. I mean, you know, thank God that I like to read. You know what I mean? Be that's one big thing. And I tell my, my, my young dudes in the hood, you know, that for real, like, you got to pick up a book and just and just read other people's perspectives, and then you'll know how you want to bring your yours to the table. You that's know right. what I'm saying? That's real big. Uh, obviously, you know what I mean, the bigger vocabulary, the more words you can use to snap somebody's neck. You know what I mean? That's right. So that's always a good thing. And then uh, just basically, man, you know what I've seen? I, I, I got my first deal, man, when I was a real a, a baby almost. You know what I mean? I was young, man. And I've seen a lot of people from that point to now really fall off. And then when I when I try to find out what's the reason why these dudes that used to be so hot then are falling off, a lot of them lose the love, homie. True that. Mm. So if you lose the love, then man, nine times out of ten, is you might fall off. So you have to find things to re-energize you, especially as an underground artist where you're not getting a uh, seven million platinum plaque presented to you and a Grammy right now at this moment. You know what I mean? That's to come, but at this moment. That's what's keeping a lot of these Jay-Z's and Lil Wayne's going because they're achieving things that they never thought they could achieve. But for the underground artist who is just trying to get by, you got to find different ways that motivate yourself to stay focused on what you love to do. You know what I'm saying? And whether that be read, whether that's, you know, go back. Like the other day I went on YouTube and I typed in EPMD, your customer, and I just listened to it all day. That's what's up. You know what I'm that's saying? And that's the type of things that keep me going. You know what I mean? So we have to all find out whatever it is inside you to just keep motivated, man, and, and keep your love for the game. And then, that's uh, some great questions, man. The only, uh, the only other question I have for you is this, is that, um, you know, I'm from the Bay. Righteous. And one of the things that, uh, you know, that, that we fight in Oakland is, is that, you know, we try to get the youngsters together and the up and coming MCs. Right. And it seems like the, the freestyle is like a dying art. Yeah, I feel You know, and the thing is, is that I try to express the importance of yeah. knowing how to freestyle. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I liken that to like, uh, you know, I'm a big Star Wars fan, the Jedi right. and right, how right. the Jedi started to die out and the right. lightsaber was, the, you had to have your lightsaber and right. like, you know, so I liken the freestyle to that. And right. I just want to, I just want to get your take on that. You know, what nah, are ways that we can actually right. motivate the, the next generation? I mean, the thing is, man, you know, it's kind of hard because a lot of the music that the new generation is listening to is so far off of what we listen to. True that. You know what I mean? So they're being kind of raised up on artificial food you know what I mean they're not getting the real food so the thing is is that we need to really um, 
we need to let them know that look even if you became the biggest rapper ever with the most hits ever how you can make even more money is if you could come and sit down with sway and tech and freestyle because you're going to open yourself to another market that might not like the club hit you got you know what i'm saying but then they're going to respect you you know what i mean so it's always cool to do that and then plus freestyling is one of the most ingenious art forms that gets the less credit in the world That's right. because you're actually saying rhymes out of your mouth while you're thinking of the next rhyme the next sentence that you're going to say that has to rhyme with what you're simultaneously saying and a lot of people don't really go deep and see how ingenious freestyling is but it's it's on the level of uh, uh, uh somebody playing a grand piano right now you know what i'm saying uh perfectly you know what i mean it's on that level i mean so when, when you're good at it that. when you're good at it yeah 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 you're right you're right when you're good at it i know you're bigger than this man that's like 330 dollars man that's all i got to my name what's up let's make it a real battle <laughs> oh, oh, look at this, see? Oh, man. Three, th okay, so look. I know you. I'll you. Come on. That's why I came here for tech. Right, Sway hey. and tech. That's why I came here for, man. Hey, you, you know what? This, this is how we could do this, man. Since, since, since you that oh, eager, that's like, yours to just rap. It. No, nah, I won't tell. Nah, because better let me tell you something. It's a recession. You're going to need this. <laughs> this is what I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah. This is what we could do. Yeah. We could do it like this. Since you know, I, I see you kind of eager. You know what I mean? Tech. Yo. You give us a beat one day. One day. Or not. Okay. It could be this week. Okay. Because it could be this week. And what we could do is me and him jump on two, 224s, put it on your session, and let them see, vote on online who got the best 24. That way, at the same time, it's, it's beneficial to the site, what we pushing. Okay. You know what I mean? And and if that's how you feel about it, bring your A game, baby. Yeah. What, what do you think just the West Coast as a whole needs to do to really, like, get organized and, and break out in the game yeah, like all the it. other regions? You, you know? said it, man. Get organized. We got to get organized. We got to unify. We got to show the executives who cut the marketing checks that we can unify and that we can make good music and we can make music that can be sold, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. all they see is the dollar signs. They don't care. Half these dudes out here, man, they do not care about hip hop that's inside the labels, man. It's just business. It's just a business to them and it's and it's unfortunate because, you know, it's it's what it is. So on the West, man, if we unify, we get a few dudes in, we really push those dudes that we get in there. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? If it's you, we pushing you. You know what I mean? Let's do it, and bro. Whatever right. it is and 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 we gotta we gotta take our coast back from you know because our consumers they not really they not really dealing with us like they should be, uh -huh. you know what I mean and that and I I, I bring that noise to the DJs and and and, and uh, you know out here in radio. You know, we got to make sure these DJs out here are proud to be from the West. Mm -hmm. Right. It's so Pr many Proud to DJs, play West Coast artists. They not, they not proud to be from the West, homie. They not playing a bunch of West Coast music at all. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So we got to get over that hump. How, we gotta, do, how do we change that? How do we I mean, if we organize, like, you know what I'm saying? Say we organize and we do it. We have meetings, you know, once a month with all the West Coast artists trying to get in. And we invite the executives. We invite the DJs. We invite, we, we hold it somewhere nice. Mm -hmm. and, and we express ourselves and let them know that we dead serious about this you know what I mean because first you start talking and then the second thing you already know what's gonna happen you know what I mean uh -huh. so first you do it the right way you talking we doing what we got to do we trying to make this thing and we got to push each other man we can't hate on each right. other man we got to nah, push each other I think that's you know just the organization of it man that's, that's it you got to organize man and these executives got to be you know they got to quit being scared to drop that million dollar budget on an MC from the West who's not on Interscope yep you know what I mean? Because as soon as they do, they're going to make the bread. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. the world loves West Coast music. Yeah. Period. The globe. So we got to just really focus on organizing with each other, man, and pushing each other and supporting each other and, you know, making good music, man. I think we'll be all right. I think 09 is going to say something, man. For the West? For the West. What do you What do you feel was, like, your turning point for that, for that level of exposure that you got, like, that everyone recognizes now? Um, I think the turning point was I stopped holding back. You know, I used to hold back like, nah, I ain't gonna say that rap right now. I'm gonna use that later. Or nah, I ain't gonna go to this meeting. I'll go there later. Once I said, you know what? I ain't holding back nothing. Nothing. I'm spit every rap I gotta spit. I'm going to every meeting I gotta go to. I'm talking to everybody I gotta talk to. Once I did that, doors started opening up. So you just can't hold back. And you gotta be, you gotta be uh, open-minded, man. Because somebody else's idea that's 
might be the best idea that you ever heard. You know what I mean? And that might be the, that might work the best for you. So sometimes we close minded. We know what we want to do, but somebody else might come and say, "Yo, you might need to do this." You know what I'm yeah, saying? So yeah. just be open minded. Don't hold back, man. And keep going, man. And keep the bars right. You keep the bars right. You be alright, especially on that internet. That's why I keep saying internet because right now the internet demands a high quality of bars. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Dudes yeah. get on the internet that are superstars with multi-million dollar deals and get clowned. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like yo, you suck, homie. You know what I mean? Yeah. Bars still count on a lot of hip hop sites. Mm -hmm. And if you got bars and you love what you do, man, use that internet, homie. I got a question for you, man. Like, What's up, baby? Why, why you think it's been so difficult for like the OGs and like in the West Coast to really bring up they up and coming artists, like some of the other regions have, like the South, like the East Coast. You notice how like Jermaine Dupri, all them cats on the South, they pretty much bring their up and coming artists up yeah. and they bring them to the spotlight. But if you think about the West Coast with the drags, not to blame nobody, like we need a handout, but it's yeah. like they ain't really reaching down and bringing up the people that they need to do and represent for they for their people on their own coast. You know what I'm saying? You know what I think, man. You know what I'm saying? And people don't, man. See. I get in trouble a lot. Let me just tell you. <laughs> that what you hey, man, you say you ain't holding back. You're not holding back. Yeah, man. Wake up. Yeah, yeah. Holding I mean, back. Wake him up, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, on the real, I don't think these dudes got a cool business savvy. Okay. You know, because really, if they did, you know what I'm saying? Look, let's just take, for instance, let's take, let's take a couple of these cats, man. All right, let's break them down. You got dudes like 50 Cent. You got dudes like, like you know what I'm saying, Jay-Z, who have more money than the dudes who have been rapping over here for 15 years. Reason why is they got more business savvy. You know what I'm saying? They're not afraid to put on the next man that's down in their crew, you know what I mean? And, and, and really push them. Out here, these dudes, when they put somebody on, they give them the low budget video, maybe internet only. They don't give them the, you know what I'm saying, the good beats. The homie in the garage making the beats, but Timberland is in the front room. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They won't, they won't, you know what I'm saying, put their artists on a platform for them to really shine. And I could say nothing other than they either selfish and don't want nobody to outshine them, or they have no savvy about themselves when it comes to the music business. That's just plain and simple. I see dudes come out, like take for instance Snoop Dogg, all right? He just put out the Western Union. You know what I mean? Shouts out to the Western Union. You know, Damani, Bad Luck, Superfly. These are very talented rappers. They put an album out on Koch and nobody heard about it. That don't make sense. That was his G unit. How come Lloyd Banks and Young Buck can get rich, but Superfly and Damani and Bad Luck can't get rich? It's a big problem out there. You have to push them with everything that you push yourself. You know what I mean? And this is what I say to all you West Coast artists out there that's in the OG position to change the whole game right now. Because right now, Drake is saying, hmm, I like you, homie. Here's a beat. And kaboom. That's, that's, what, I'm <laughs> you know what, I'm that's, that's what I mean so right there. This is, there, this is what I'm saying to all, all y'all West Coast OGs who could change the whole entire way the West looks. Listen, go do your history. People who have pushed their artists for real, with real videos, real marketing budgets, real love, have all benefited from that and even if you didn't you still got your resume on tight so what now when you can't rap anymore and you go inside of an office and you sit with a Leor Cohen he's gonna look at your business resume and he's gonna say you never sold a record outside of yourself ever why should I give you a label to push other artists every time you try to push an artist they only sold 500 copies that don't make no sense. You sell a four million, they selling five hundred. That means you're not putting your heart into it. So all you OG West Coast dudes, I don't care if you never make a song with me in your life. I swear to God, y'all need to get y'all stuff together. And if you in this for this West Coast for real, y'all need to start putting on brand new dudes. I don't care if it's one phone call saying, "Yo, this dude is nice." It only takes five seconds out of your life to say it. Be real and say it. Help the name, the man coming after you. Or don't throw up no more W's on my life. Oh. All right, crooked eye. <laughs> crooked eye, man. Wow.